Exploration of the unknown is so much more for Starfleet and the Federation than merely taking a few scans. In fact, on many occasions, these organizations have set up what's known as a duck blind in order to observe alien cultures going about their daily business. But with Federation technology and the potential for violating the Prime Directive, the question becomes, do they make sense? Hello and welcome to another episode of Does That Make Sense, a Star Trek-themed web series that discusses various odd or inconsistent Trek topics brought up over the years by you, this channel's audience. In today's episode, we're taking a look at the Duck Blind, and as always, I'll be playing Devil's Little Advocate about this topic in order to foster amazing discussions in the comment section below. So without further ado, let's dive in and ask the simple question, does that make sense? It's a fascinating idea, observing a culture's natural development in order to better understand one's own self and one's own history. In Star Trek, most races tend to develop along the same lines as humanity, making these covert observations even more enthralling. But then, as if on cue, these duck blinds end up doing the very thing they were supposedly designed to prevent, contamination of an alien culture. In Star Trek, we've seen two instances of the duck blind with the suggestion that there are many more. In both instances, however, we see that the duck blind fails and our Federation officers are exposed to the cultures that they're observing. In Star Trek The Next Generation's episode, Who Watches the Watchers, an excellent episode by the way, we're shown the direct issues that exposure could cause, with the Mintokens suddenly seeing Captain Jean-Luc Picard as their god. In the end, the TNG crew are able to convince the Mintokens that they are not gods, but just other beings such as themselves observing them while traveling the stars. The audience is left with a warm and fuzzy feeling, but the truth of what just happened is far more darker than our emotions can acknowledge. The very fact that the Mintakans now know about alien cultures and humanity will irrevocably change that society's development. Changes that will only grow larger the further into the future we go. Basically, the Federation had violated the Prime Directive by simply being there. I guess my biggest question is, why did they have to do a duck blind in the first place? I mean, we see in Star Trek Enterprise that the NX-01 is able to get rather close and detailed views and scans of a planet from orbit. And if this early Starfleet starship could do it, then why can't Starfleet in the 24th century do the same thing? I mean, I get that no one wants to have a starship stay in orbit of a planet for years or even centuries. But can't Starfleet build small bases in that planet's orbit? And with sensors and scanners and things like microprobes, can't they get all the same data that they'd get through a duck blind? I mean, at this point in the Mintakens' development, there's really no way of knowing or seeing such a base in the first place. Sure, eventually you'd have to disassemble the base, but for a long time you wouldn't have to worry. And in fact, it would almost completely prevent the Prime Directive from being violated. We see in Star Trek Insurrection that Starfleet also has cloaking suits that they can use to observe primitive cultures. And that sort of use, though I don't think it's really necessary either, wouldn't be prevented by having an orbiting base. In fact, I'm surprised Starfleet doesn't have mobile smaller bases already ones that can drop themselves into orbit of a planet or even out in deep space and act like a normal starbase until a permanent structure can be built. And of course, Star Trek Insurrection is another prime example, if you'll excuse the pun, of how if one little thing goes wrong, the Federation could ultimately be responsible for changing an entire culture's development. Again, another clear case of Starfleet and the Federation only following their own laws such as the Prime Directive, when it suits them. Of course, thankfully, the Baku species was saved from this cultural contamination, because they were actually only colonists with altered lifespans thanks to metagenics. 
but Starfleet and the Federation didn't know that when they set up their facility. Even the position of the facility was quite ridiculous, right over the village, so that if something does go wrong, Starfleet is exposed to all. We all know the reality of the duck blinds even existing is only as a plot element to engage with the audience. But as always, we're dealing with in-universe explanations and asking questions in-universe about the logic behind these types of missions and bases. And truly, the duck blind does not make any sense at all. Not because observing a primitive society doesn't make sense, but it's how Starfleet and the Federation go about it. One false move in any of these instances, and a society is changed irrevocably forever. But what do you think? Do you think the duck blinds make sense as they are? Or do you think it's a ridiculous way for Starfleet to keep tabs on a primitive culture's development? Well, leave your thoughts and ideas in the comment section below. I'm looking forward to reading what you have to say. Live long and prosper.